everybody. My name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfumes and also if you like ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. Alright, so today I am reviewing Ariana Grande's Cloud. This, I believe this is her most popular and well-known fragrance. It certainly seems that way to me. It's not her first fragrance, but I definitely think it's her most popular. Um, this is just the one ounce size. Here is the bottle. I really do like the bottle. I find it fun. I mean, I'm not saying it's like my favorite bottle ever, but I do find it fun. Um, this comes out completely. It's just it's like a little rest, a cloud rest. And then it says Ariana Grande and it has this little cloud top. Definitely cute. This is like a mostly hard but like kind of um, semi-soft, mostly hard plastic. And I love blue and I love blue and white. If I had to say like a favorite color combo, it would be blue and white. So today I tried to dress on theme wasn't sure if I wanted to do like purple or blue or pink, but I wore my like, um, like terry cloth. Is that what this is called? It's like towel material. I wore my towel material blue, um, dress. And then I didn't really have any like cloudy earrings per se, but I wore these little bows, these little pink bows. So I thought those were the closest that I could do for today to match this scent. Okay, so let's start off by um, going through, I'll spray this fragrance, then we'll go through the main accords together, and then we'll go through the notes together. And then also, I do have a couple other fragrances to touch on. This is another Ariana Grande fragrance. And then also I brought a sample of the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540, which many people say that this smells very similar to. And I agree, they're not dupes, but they're in the same realm. They're cousins, maybe you could say. I need some lip, lip balm. I will be right back. I put on some Burt's Bees. It's all minty. Okay, alright, so I've got my Angels on Earth little deck of cards. Today we've got it's like a woman and a bunch of little baby angels. give this a spray. Perfect. I did not get any on my finger. That's always a good thing. Just letting this dry down, but hmm, what I'm getting is very sweet. It's kind of like sugary, fluffy, sweet, kind of like cotton candy. Um, I think there's a whipped cream note in here, so like a little whipped creamy it is like creamy, lactonic, um, I like a touch ambery, I would say. Almost smells like it could be fruity, but I don't know if there's any fruity notes in here. So yeah, it's a very like sweet, fluffy, cocooning. Yeah. Okay, so 
I'm on for Grant again, and I'm gonna go ahead and read the main accords that we have listed. So first we have sweet, lactonic, vanilla, coconut, and musky. Okay, so I definitely, I get all of those. Um, I get sweet, I get lactonic, I get vanillic. Um, the coconut is there, but it's very faint. And musky as well. So yeah, I am getting all of that. Hmm. I feel like it's missing a couple of chords though. Like I think there's some floral notes in here. So I feel like it's missing that, but yeah. Okay, so next let's go ahead and look at the notes for this fragrance. So we have three top notes and they are lavender, pear, and bergamot. So I do get a touch of pear. That's probably what I said was kind of fruity. So I don't know why they don't have like a fruity and a floral accord listed. doesn't always make sense. But anyway, I do get a touch of pear. Maybe I get some lavender. It's very subtle. It's not like a strong lavender scent, but I think maybe I do get like a touch of lavender. A bergamot, not really so much, but yeah. Okay, and then in our middle notes, we've got four middle notes, and all of these ones I can see are like more kind of like the sweet and lactonic notes. So, we have a note of whipped cream, praline, coconut, and vanilla orchid. So, I honestly, I would say I kind of get all of those. Um, I get whipped cream, I get a little bit of coconut, but it's not strong. I get praline. To me, that's almost that kind of like ambery sweet smell. And then I do get something vanillic, so I can say I get the vanilla orchid. Yeah. And then for our base notes, we've got two base notes. And they are musk. And then woodsy notes, or sorry, woody notes. Sometimes it says woodsy notes, and sometimes it says woody notes. Personally, I'd probably say woodsy because that sounds like more... Doesn't woodsy sound more like... I don't know. Ethereal and like... Mm, it sounds better than woody to me. Um, okay, so musk and woody notes. I... This whole fragrance is kind of powdery musky, so I do get that. And... I don't know. I get like an ambery accord. I wouldn't say I get like woody notes per se, but I think to recap what I'm getting from this fragrance most is the middle notes. So the whipped cream, the praline, coconut, vanilla orchid, and then a little bit of like musk and lavender and a pear as well. I'm honestly getting like most of the notes. So I'm going to click and show you what other users say that they are smelling. They say that first they are getting the whipped cream, followed by the um, praline, the coconut, musk, lavender pear, woody notes, vanilla orchid, and then bergamot lastly. So, it's kind of similar to what I'm getting. Sweet, fluffy, fluffy gourmand. Not like an edible gourmand, really, but like in that direction for sure. It is really nice. It's a, it is a very, um, addicting, captivating sort of scent. Sorry if, if you can hear anything in the background. My fiancé is in the kitchen. He's making brioche. So, I'm pretty 
excited about that. He's gonna make, um, two things. He's gonna make, like, sticky buns, and then he's also gonna make, um, I think, like, chocolate, chocolate dessert brioche. I don't know, they're both desserts, I guess, but, um, we've been watching Masterclass, and we've been watching a Masterclass from, I forget the woman's name, but she owns a, um, a bakery called Flower. I think it's in Boston, and so we, we watched her brioche recipe recently, so he's making brioche. Okay, so, um, just a little bit more information about this fragrance. This fragrance has a rating on Fragrantica of 4.03 out of 5, with just under 10,000 votes, so it, that is a good rating. People do tend to really like it, for the most part. I think it's a good fragrance for sure. I really understand why it's popular, and it does smell similar to Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a very well-liked fragrance, so. It was launched in 2018, so it's only been around for about five years. It's done very well. It's sold a lot of, um, a lot of bottles. Okay, so actually let's use this moment, this time here, to talk about, um, a couple other, the other fragrances that I pulled. So this is called Ari by Ariana Grande. This is her first fragrance. Um, and it's, this is one that I currently have in my collection. I don't know that it'll be there forever, but I do like it, and, um, I don't reach for it that often, but I do like it. Kind of like all of the fragrances of Ariana Grande's that I've smelled, it's got some similarities to the others. It's sweet, it's kind of fluffy, um, but this one has a little bit more citrus, and I believe it has a pear note, so it's like a juicy, watery, um, fruity. Yeah, so it's got marshmallow, pear, raspberry, grapefruit, some florals, vanilla orchid, so I really like this one. I think I do prefer it to Cloud, but I like both of these. Um, I thought about if I wanted to keep Cloud or not, and I'm Currently, I have it listed on my Mercari, so I guess that means I'm planning on selling it. Oh, oh yeah, I could just smell it right here, but I really like it. It just doesn't really, I guess it just doesn't really feel like me. It's not really the sort of thing I would wear too often, but I do really like it. Okay, and then um, I've got a sample here. Baccarat Rouge 540 by the brand Maison Francis Curtishon. I'll actually go ahead and spray this um, just because I basically know what it smells like, but I want to compare it right now to Cloud and let you know my impression and what seems a little bit different to me. Got some angels that are like painting a butterfly. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a little spray. Give it a second to dry down. So this fragrance, Baccarat Rouge 540, is like, I feel like one, maybe the most popular women's, it's, I guess it's technically like a unisex, but I feel like it's Wayne's Feminine. I feel like this is the most popular fragrance that I'm aware of, period, hands down. It's very expensive, um, but yeah, there's been a bunch of dupes made of it. I own a dupe of it that I'm actually reselling. It's the Dossier dupe, um, but this fragrance has notes of saffron, saffron, jasmine, amberwood, ambergris, fir resin, and cedar. So it's kind of like an ambery, woody, fluffy. I don't know what makes this so fluffy. It feels like there's got to be some other notes, something synthetic that's giving it that vibe. But so when I smell this, it definitely smells more naturalistic. Then cloud, cloud smells 
sweeter, a little bit more synthetic, more like youthful, girly. This is like totally feminine leaning. Where's the Baccarat? Is feminine leaning, but I would say it's more unisex. I do get a touch of the fur resin, which almost gives it like a slightly aromatic green woody vibe. But it's very subtle. It's it still has got that sweet, like brown sugar, sponge sugar, airy sugar sort of vibe. And honestly, it is very similar. Yeah, honestly, they're very similar. Like, they're really not that different. Um, there's definitely a difference, but of course I'm not I'm not getting any coconut note in the Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, I'm not getting any coconut in the Baccarat Rouge. And um, the Cloud, I would say, is more lactonic and sweet and coconut, a little bit coconutty. But yeah, they're pretty similar. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this review by reading a few reviews. So I'm on Fragrantica, and let's see, somebody says, not a Baccarat, Fu Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, but at least, at least not for me, not even a 540 vibe. Pretty sweet, not overly sweet. A nice blend of marshmallows and woods. Love it. I personally don't know how you could say this is not even a 540 vibe because to me it 100% is. Like, I'm not going to tell you it smells exactly the same. Of course it doesn't. But it's totally a Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. If you think about all of the fragrances out there, there's so many that smell so much less like Buck Heart Rush 540, you know what I mean? Like, there's most fragrances that smell less like Buck Heart Rouge 540 versus this one. That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, let's see. Somebody else says, if you, if you took Buck Heart Rouge 540 and watered it down with a bunch of pink sugar, it has that same cheap headache inducing synthetic sweetness in pink sugar. So yeah, somebody who doesn't like that. I do think it does smell more synthetic than Baccarat Rouge 540. Somebody who says, somebody who likes it says, you will get so many compliments when you wear this fragrance. I personally think this is a dupe. I think of this as a dupe scent. It does remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540. Every Uber driver asks what I'm wearing and I always feel silly saying a celebrity fragrance. LOL, but this is definitely worth trying if you like sweet and warm scents. Okay, let's read one more. This person does not like it and they say, This is sickly sweet, like a big bowl of whipped cream with too much sugar and vanilla added. It's been left out on the counter on a hot day. I tested one spray on my wrist and it's making me feel nauseous. I'm trying to give it some time. Maybe the dry down is less cloying. Probably gonna have to scrub it off. I... That's kind of probably the reason that I personally don't think I'll be keeping this and wearing it. It's just that I love the smell of sweet scents. I really do, but I don't necessarily love to smell like them. I don't necessarily like to smell like them all day. It can get a little bit too much for me, so... While I do really love the scent, and I find it really fun and girly and playful and like sweet and cozy, I don't know that I'd want to smell like it all day myself. Okay, everybody. Sending you all peace and love and beauty and harmony. I hope you enjoyed the um, review. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. And I'll catch you all again soon. Bye.